I'll talk about batch edit. So batch edit is a, it's an entirely different thing. So I'm going to click on batch and then edit would be something that you press if you want to change any of the fields, again, that are visible in the register. So if you want to change any of the fields that are visible in the register, you can do it from here. Now I say visible because if there's a split expense uh, transaction where there's maybe two lines or three lines uh, hitting an expense account, that's not visible here. It'll just say split. Or we have like the source bank account that we can't change from here, at least not yet. So for right now, we can change anything that's visible from here. So uh, for example, let's say that we have, uh, and this is a good example here, we have these two transactions that say American Express in the memo, um, but then probably have the wrong payee uh, in there and we want to do, uh, and we want to batch change the payee. That would probably be the, the, the most important reason where we would do something like this. So for example, let's say I want to make uh, a whole bunch of transactions have a different payee. So I'm going to click on edit and I'm going to select which of the fields I want to change in batch. So let's say I want to change in batch just the payee and you can do any of these. And an account means the destination account, the expense account, not the source account. You can also change the memo or you can, you can append to a memo, which makes it even more fun. Okay. So we can do the payee, we can do the account, we can change the date. Sometimes people will put like the wrong year or something like that. And they want to just change it to a date, or maybe they want to backtrack a bunch of transactions and put them back to like 1231, 2022 or something. I mean, that could be just so many different uh, scenarios. And then we have the reconciliation status. So this is, um, so this is a batch editing. This is not batch deleting. This is, this is it uses the same. Uh, checkbox system where you click on edit and pick the transactions, but now you're doing uh, a different process altogether. Now this class and location, these are things that you can, sorry, account class and location. So number three, five, and six are things that you can already change with the ba uh, batch uh, reclassify tool. So those are technically not new things, but sometimes you want to just change the expense account from transactions that are only on one particular bank account. Uh, so this is a, a, a scenario where you would use this instead of using the regular reclassify feature that's inside of QuickBooks. So I'm, I'm going to change the payee and the memo, and then I'm going to click on close. So basically these two things get highlighted in black, letting you know these are the only things the right tool is going to look at. And um, let's, just, let's just go to edit um, and hold on, give me a second. Let me uh, make sure I'm going to make the screen a little bigger. I'm going to hit cancel for a second. Let me hit edit. And um, uh, the check boxes aren't. Uh, press delete and then press cancel real quick. Yeah. I, I don't know why it does this sometimes. Uh, I'll try to figure out what's going on with that. Okay. So, go to, so I'm going to go. So I'm, again, I'm going to click on batch. I'm going to select the transactions first. Okay. I'm going to change the payee to all of these. Then I'm going to go to the fields. So I'm going to choose. We set payee and memo, right? Were the two things. Then yeah. I'm going to hit close. And then I'm going to say, okay, this payee is, uh, let's say, American Airlines. And then in the memo, I'm going to put here uh, Vegas Trip. And notice I'm putting it as, um, an, as an append. So once I do these two things, I click on Confirm Batch. And it'll go in and take all those transactions and change the payee name and also append to, uh, to the memo. Okay. I'm going to try this one more time. I'm going to edit. I'm going to, instead of appending to the memo, I'm just going to replace the memo altogether. I'm going to close that. I'm going to select the, tra the transactions I want to change. Then let's say I want a different payee. Let's say I want to put, I don't know, uh, Jedi Corp. Then I'm going to put here a uh, new memo that is wrong. And I'll, we'll go back and, and kind of see, uh, see full circle on the other feature that we have uh, when it comes to the memo stuff to see how, how, how these two things play in together. Then I'm gonna go to confirm batch, click okay. And then it goes in there and one by one, it changes each of the payee and it, change, it changes the memo. Uh, 